Yeah, well, sometimes I feel like that woman on the telly. You know, the one who spent 30 years trying to learn to drive. Still never cracked it. There's nothing to tell. So why are you at a face like a wet weekend all morning then? Yeah, well, the thing is... Um... What are you two looking so serious about? It's private. I shall tell you later anyway. Mm. You don't know me at all, do you, if that's what you think? No, some secrets I've kept for years. Like what? I can't tell you, can I? Right, so anything usual? No, I'll have a Friday roll. Get you, go on then, sit down while I make it. Come on, that means the world. Meet someone else, someone who deserves you. Yeah, maybe. Of course you will. Come on, darling, this ain't like you. Cheer up. Yeah, but, well, I mean, this time, this is different. Why? Other times, I mean, I didn't ever like... This was the first time ever I... What? You know, slept with a bloke. Are you angry with me? No, no, I'm just a bit surprised, that's all. You know when someone you're close to isn't being straight with you, don't you? You, Sir John. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. First time should be special and all. Well, yours weren't, he said. No, it's true. It's always hoped it would be, mind you. You can't always get what you want, can you? Well, I'll tell you one thing. Things can only get better, right? You think so? I know so. Come here. Here you go, turn off. Yeah, can I? You know what they say, a couple of days keeps the doctor away. Is he going to pop at me or what? <laughs> Lisa, when's it you? Off license, now! Now here's the advice of an old campaigner. Never, never let blokes know they've hurt you. Never let them know you care. Just don't give them satisfaction. Or just let them get away with it. No, listen to me. Instead of them thinking they've had one over on you, they start wondering if they've missed out dumping you like that. Or maybe feel that you've used them instead of the other way round. I'm going to be sensible about it. Do you want to drink? No. No, I'm sorry about earlier. Things are just getting a bit out of hand, that's all. All this stuff with Sonia and that. That's your problem, mate. I've tried being friendly, but it ain't worth it. Don't be like that. It's hard for Sonia. What are you talking about? And Sonia's been made to look like a slapper, is it? You know what? I wish I'd never had anything to do with you. That makes two of us. What's going on? None your business. See you later. I'm sorry. What's all that about? Nothing. Do you know like nothing to me, Zoe? Wait, come on. This bloke you slept with. It was Jamie, wasn't it? I'm gonna kill him. I'm calling him my marker. Girlfriend not with you? No, Cock a little beggar, ain't you? Now you listen to me, rat face. You do anything to hurt my little sister. You won't have anything to be cocky about. Do you understand? What's going on here, honey? Nothing. Me and Jamie just having a little chat. See ya. And what was that all about? Nothing. You probably shouldn't talk to him. Just showing him how the land lies, that's all. I don't need you to look after me. You do, Zoe. Now listen to me. Me and you are going out tonight. Mel. These vouchers. Come on, Zoe, have a dance. <laughs> Not if you're drunk. Come on. Can I have a drink, son? What you skin? Who needs cash if we got vouchers? That's a nice one, man. Ain't that right, bruv? <laughs> Ready to have a drink? Nah, no, let's call it a night. Thanks, Kat. That's what I needed. Give us a minute, don't burst him. Right, we're having a strict all-girls-only night out tonight. You up for it? Uh, no, thanks. Me and Gas went to the 20 last night. It was dead. 
I think I'd rather sit to have a bottle of wine in the weakest link. It's a nice way to talk about your boyfriend, isn't it? A cup of tea, please, man. All right. Oh, come on, we ain't going clubbing. It's a pub crawl. Yeah, more like a bloke crawl. We ain't taking our money for drinks with us, are we, though? Whatever happened to women's liberation, eh? We're totally liberated, thank you. We can do whatever we want with whoever we want. <laughs> you sure you don't want to come? You don't know what you're missing. See ya. All right, girl. All right, Jim. Yeah. Hey, look. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, no problem. Yeah, nice one. You all right? Fine. I'm supposed to phone. You shouldn't. It's his loss, not yours. Hi. Anyway, he's nothing special. And believe me, as soon as you get out there, you're bound to meet someone who's decent. You should have to settle for second best. We well, can always go to a club. Are you listening to me? Well, you want to go out tonight, yeah? No problem at all. Dream. Zoe, John's gonna get us a drink. What do you want? Then this is a good idea. Yeah. Come on. All right, girls. Warming up for the dance floor, are we? What about you, Gary? Warming up for your step night? <laughs> Maybe you'd have been safer staying at home. Well, it's your bright idea to come out. I'd rather be tucked up with a curry. That's the last thing I fancy. <laughs> Your friend looks like she's having a good time. <laughs> she ain't my friend, she's my mum. She's not anyone's mum. She's my sister. So what's your name then? Zoe. My name's Kevin. Uh, do you fancy a dance? Sure. Why not? Well, that didn't take her long, did it? What? Well, let's find someone else she fancies. Let's hope you ain't got a girlfriend. I'm sorry my son confused you. It's just that he's concerned I don't sell the lectures, yeah, mate. I'm here to enjoy myself. Hey, Mark, you looking for a dance partner? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm really proud of you. No, you go. No, oh, no, no. You're doing exactly what I'd do if I was in your shoes. Letting him know you don't give a monkey. I think you've had too much. Yeah, well, John's walking me home now. You want to come? I think I'll stay. All right. Oi, you look after my little sister. Do you hear me? Yeah. Fancy sitting this one out, eh? Okay. So where's Terry tonight? Making a fool of himself. Should we have it over there? Sorry. What's wrong with him? There we go. Oi. Where do you think you're going? What does it look like? I'm going home. I don't think so. Feel all right now? I don't know. I shouldn't have bought him out. No, he's just drunk, that's all. No, 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 there's something definitely wrong with him. Right, well, let's get him to a hospital then. We'll call an ambulance, no, okay? No, no, we'll get him a cab. It'll be easier, won't it? Come on. Come on. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Come on, come on. What's going on? Nothing, Jamie, just leave it. Well, you haven't, she said. No, just leave her alone, all right? Jamie, please. Well, listen, mate, this has got nothing to do with me. It's got everything to do with me. She's my girlfriend. Is that right? Do yourself a favour and go, yeah? Yeah, all right, I'm going. You've got your work cut out with a tease like that, mate. Leave it. Why don't you just go back to Sonia? So you can go and find yourself another crack. Oh, maybe I'm not a very good judge of blokes. No, I'm sorry. Forget it. That's what I'm going to do from now on. Yeah, what if I can't? <laughs> <laughs> See, you have got rid of it. Oh, well, yes, I... I mean, I don't think of better ways of doing it than counselling. You live in the Stone Age, didn't you? you? Yeah, maybe. But I don't go around clubbing my wife over the head, do I? Mm -hmm. If I'd known that bloke was going to be trouble, I'd never left him with you, OK? Jamie came over and talked him out. What? He just took over. He even told the bloke he's my boyfriend. Yeah, but he ain't now, is he? Why is it with you? As soon as anyone looks interested in me... That's just it. It looks like it. This is all shiny armour and nothing else. Jamie's probably put out because you met someone else. Maybe there's a reason for that. Yeah, there is. He's playing games. If you don't believe me, look over there. He's with Sonia, isn't he? Right. She had a good night last night. Yeah, it was all right. So he got lucky, didn't she? How do you mean? Oh, that guy she was with. Didn't you see him? Where are you off to, then? Out. Uh, I bet I don't need three guesses to work out who with. 
You're making a big mistake. And that's something you know all about, right? Maybe. Which is even more reason why you should listen to me. I can tell by the way he looks at me. He means what he says. You've developed... Girl, you're doing my head in. You know what? You think Jamie was the only bloke on earth the way you go on about him? No, so we should clear that table for us. Do I look like you're assistant? Oh, I don't know. I forgot what she looks like. You still here? Is that a problem, is it? For you, it is. Yeah. Slow on the uptake, can't you? You'll have the elf inspector down on you, letting vermin like him in here. Right from the shopping centre. Wants us to go over there now. Well, we can't. Sharon's expecting us. No. There is a second post, Joe. You know. I was joking. No, you're right. I'm a div. I never go to college. I wish I'd have brains. And I bet she was shared your legs. You're saying everything. Grow up, so. Well, if I was clever, do you think it would have been different with Jamie? I'm going to clap you in a minute. Forget Jamie. You ain't still going on about him. I'm losing the will to live, then. What you need is a good night out. I ain't in the mood. You take her. Go on, snap her out of it once and for all. Come on. I'm broke. Here. Yeah. At least it's for a good cause. Cheers, then. Looks like we're on, then. Don't like it saying it. No. Uh. Bonnie, what you worked for a living. Seen the invoice book? Um, I think I left it in here. Oh, uh, uh, can't it wait till tomorrow? Uh, I've got more to hang up. Oh. What are you doing? Nothing. It's meals on wheels for poor starving Trevor. I told her she's mad. Well, he's living on takeaways. Now, that can't be right, can it? A bit boring, isn't it? Maybe I should have it up. Oh, shut up. You've got lovely air. She looks like mum's, though. Ow! Their estate and all, they're going to have to be done. Come, let's go and rummage for my wardrobe while we're up there. <laughs> You're enjoying this, ain't you? Why are you a little dolly? What? Doing my hair, dressing me up. I reckon you're getting broody, cat. Maybe you should have a baby before you get too old. He's got you running about after him again, hasn't he? Look, Trevor's having to fend for himself, and I just thought... Look, you can have some if you want. There's plenty. No, thanks. I can look after myself. I feel about you a lot. I'm glad you're fine. Really? Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what'll happen. You'll meet some bloke and I'll end up playing gooseberry. Look, I promise it's strictly girls only. Mind you, if Johnny Depp walks for that door, you're on your own. <laughs> I guess. I don't mean he's sad. Oh, aren't you? I said, what do you want? What in the ideal world? You floating in the canal. Hello. Oh, I've got some good news for you. Yeah. I spoke to Phil and he said I can take you on part time. How do you fancy starting tomorrow? Yeah, all right. Oh, I don't look so happy about it. Sorry, I'm, I'm really grateful. Well, I'll show you the ropes now, Ronnie. I'm closing it. Sorry, guess where I've just been? Where? The bank. He came, didn't he? My daddy gave me the cheque. I've just been to pay it in. My shoe's sorted then, isn't it? See you, Lynn. Thanks. See you, oh, Clever girl, eh? I must be really proud of her and nursing the family. I don't believe you. Girl's not out, is it? Hot. No one will let them buy us a drink. You ain't got a clue, have you? Nan's gonna kill if she finds out you've been drinking. It's me that's gonna get it, not you. Well, I didn't know what to say when John asked me. Oh, it's John already, is it? He's too old for you, Zoe. What are you, my mum or something? What? You were staying out all night at my age, getting up to all sorts. You're just jealous because he fancied me and not you. Thanks. So, your sisters. Yeah, that's right. Big age difference, though. Yeah, but there's no substitute for experience. And I've had my apprenticeship and I've passed with flying colours. <laughs> I'll bet you did. And how about you? No, she's still got a lot to learn. So, uh, do you fancy getting out of here then? Uh, go for a meal, maybe? Love to, wouldn't we? Look at him. Little Mo might have fallen for it, but I am. Yeah, Leopard never changes spots, you know. Oi! No. Nutter! What's it take to light your fuse, eh? Someone should sort him out. Don't worry. It's all in hand. Yeah. Hello. Excuse me. Uh, who are they? I don't know. Cat. Oh, she's smiling, isn't she? When's the last time that happened? Royal blue or the sky? 
guy I've known. What? Well, this new flash car you can get now you're a man of means. Neither. I've changed my mind. Yeah, why not? You do anything you like, can't you? Yeah. I'm serious. I'm going away. Do you fancy a meat steak? Oh, Zara. <laughs> Thanks. Mm, I know what I fancy. Can't see a slap on the menu. Oh, you wouldn't. Try that again and you'll find out. Nice one to bring us here, innit? They expect to have us for afters. You do know that. Right. What are we drinking? Champagne. So we. So, uh, did I tell you I like breakfast in bed? In that case, you'd better sleep in the kitchen. <laughs> She's a right scream, your sister, eh? And you're a babe. <laughs> So how's this counselling like working? Yeah, you'd understand, eh? Give you a baseball bat and a cushion today. Let you take it out on that. I'm surprised they let you out of heaven. Sorry? You're an angel, right? <laughs> oh, I don't feel too well. I need to lay down. Yeah, that John's banking on that. What? Oh, look at ya. He could do anything he wants with you and you wouldn't be able to stop him. <laughs> I'm just having a laugh. You don't play with the big boys until you know the rules of the game. Look, follow me. When we get to the door, take your shoes off. What for? We're gonna leg it. Way. No. Good. Come on. <laughs> sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Shine. Hello, Pauline. So what did you say? Why would we stand around and go trying to flog junk? It's a charity, isn't it? Just a little scanner up here. The charity begins at home. Yeah. No, I'm serious. All the one that the dad spent on stamps over the years is enough to buy ten scanners. I'll do it for the cash, though. I'll buy us a night out. <laughs> You're a bad influence, you are. So where do we get this junk, then? Stop calling it that. It's for the lucky dip. There's plenty of stuff up in our loft. All we'd have to do is wrap it up. And Sharon did say she wanted everyone to join in. Hey, Natalie. Yeah? You'd have a go on our lucky dip store, wouldn't you? Of course. See, we've got a customer already. Yeah, all right. But you're going up in that loft. <laughs> Sounds like you're getting in the party spirit. Well, if you can't have a laugh now, then what's the point? <laughs> I wore this to my first youth club disco. <laughs> you had no shame. Oh. Had a few of these flyers around in my own business. I'm not chucking this. I might wear it for a big night out. I fancy that new club in Shoreditch. If you keep putting things aside, we're going to end up with a bag of chips on Turpin Road. We need at least three box balls. Oh, all this lot for your stall. Yeah. That was the wedding present to me and Trevor. You can't throw that. Oh, don't you start. You never used it. So, it's a memento. Just because we're separated doesn't mean I want to forget we ever happened. Why not? I would. There were some good times, you know. And when were they? When you managed to get to the phone to ring for an ambulance? Fine. You keep it. Three boxfuls, you said? This is worth a drink. I thought coming here would cheer you up. It has. Has it? Yes. Pint, please, Trev. Oh, I'm looking forward to this, I tell you. Say, for someone like him, you'd buy a muck off a shovel if you gave me the right chat. I just feel so stupid. You want this night out or not? Barry? Come by tomorrow if you're free. This is Captain Zoe's lucky dip. It's in hand ago and there's dozens of bargains to be at. Well, it looks like a good idea, doesn't it? Have a bit of fun and raise some money at the same time. This is for the scanner appeal, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. You'll be there, won't you, Jamie? Yeah, if you promise to save me something decent. Maybe. You've been a good boy. All I'm saying is... Oh, I'll call an ambulance, shall I? Mm -hmm. Oi! 
Save us one of those tables. Oh, look, we're very good, my son. Oh, yes, we're going to make a killing with all this lot. Yeah, once we pay off our overheads, yeah. See? Have you never done a treasure hunt before? Oh, for you, darling, anything. Come on, don't take all day. Oh, you jammy mega. That's an antique, that is. That's right, 50 quid they go for down in Camden. Really? Oh, there is a bit of luck, eh? See, there's loads of bargains to be had there. Come on, any of you lot fancy taking your chances? 103 quid, what a result. See what can happen when you put a bit of grass in? What do you fancy going out tomorrow night? Two right and camp both ways. <laughs> I beg your pardon? All that money was for the scholar appeal. Or is that just what you told me yesterday? Come on, you two girls wouldn't keep money for charity, would you? Of course not. I was going to give it to Sharon tomorrow. Do you hear that, everybody? Can and Sammy are donating 100 quid to the appeal. Hey, hey, well done. That's fantastic. Hey, miss. Uh, Oh, thank you. And they say community spirit is dead. Yeah, that's Sonia would be when I get my hands on her. You should have explained that you intended to sell food outside. That's what the temporary license covers. I'm afraid you'll have to close the barbecue down. Doing any harm, it's only a few burgers. I'm sorry, I'm just doing my job. We're obliged to respond to any reported violation. I would have thought you was a bit too old for babysitting. You wouldn't let Zabby do that. Yeah, well, we need every penny we can get with the wedding coming up. Don't we, darling? Don't we, darling? You playing snooker tonight? Yeah, I am. Ah, oh, look, I'll see you later, Dad. You coming round to Pepe's after, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, Gary! Oh, <laughs> cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like you got visitors. Hiya. What's he doing here? You alright, Mo? Yeah, yeah, we're fine. It's just that, um, I don't quite know how to put this. Uh, we've got a bit of an accommodation problem. Nan! Well, I hope I'm not going to be stood up. It's funny, that's exactly what he said about you earlier. Oh, did he? Yeah, he won't be long. Heard about Uncle Harry? Yeah, what about him? He's moved him with Peggy Mitchell. Yeah, I know. What, and you're all right about that? As usual, he puts himself first before anyone else. Yeah, well, it's just temporary while his place is drying out. What, and this family's not good enough for him? No, it's just that Peggy offered him first, that's all. <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. <coughs> what are you doing? I hope you lot are hungry. Dinner will be ready in ten minutes. And don't worry, Charlie, it's no shepherd's pie. Lamb chops. Mmm, well, this is nice, isn't it? Yeah, well, the gravy's a bit cold. Mine's OK. Now she's a bit lumpy and all. Well, mine's lovely. And these peas are like bullets. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is fine. Clever Trevor. Kids for the birthday, go away. Eh? Oh, charming. Thanks very much. Oh, it's sexy chops. You're gonna join us or what? Come, I'm working. We'll put some champagne on ice. We'll be over in a tick when we get off. Yeah. Oh, darling, get us another drink, will ya? Yeah, in a minute. <sighs> that slapper behind the bar. She couldn't do a decent G and T to save her life. Where are your friend here? Cheers, Billy! Grooming fishnets! 
You know what? You're a lucky bloke. Yeah? Well, you're not exactly going short, are ya? Yeah, it was hardly the same though, is it, huh? Yeah, true. Lynn's not blonde 20 with perfect boots. You've got no idea, have you? one up the ice street and then I can change onto the 274. That'll take oh, me well, straight to the stupid. corner. No, it'll be fine. And then once I've done the white feather, I can catch you. You're going to spend the whole day in a bus. Well, what choice have I got? It's my business. It's kind of a client's day. It's not their business, mate. You can't carry a vacuum cleaner on a bus. Oh, I can use theirs. What it's is fine. this? A reception committee? Oh, he's looking in the bathroom. Sorry? No, oh, I don't think I can hold myself much longer. Okay, can she go in before you? No, I was here first. She's got to go to work. It's tough. But she can't hang around all day waiting for you. Well, she got up earlier then, shouldn't she? It's all right, Trevor. There's a killer out here! I can't get a myth myself in the <sighs> What's going on? Just the usual. I did know you was going to go to work last night. Couldn't sleep. I'm not surprised. You're not really going to put a word in for Harry with Peggy, are you? He deserves some happiness, doesn't he? So do you. Yeah, well, I've been luckier than him. All those wonderful years with Viv. I've got the girls and you. What's Harry got? Forget about it, Harry. You've got to tell Peggy how you feel. Sun, Sangria and a nightclub empresario. Or Wolford, Litter and an overweight cab driver. Which would you choose? OK. So how are you going to feel she does go off with him? If they asked you to take them to the airport and wave them off? You've got to get off your backside and do something about it. You've got to tell Peggy now, Charlie Slater or you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. Florida. The Bahamas. Oh, Brazil. Jamaica. I bet my bed does. Matt Bogner. Why are you still in bed? Got up early, didn't I? I tried to jump down his bathroom rotor. <laughs> and? She didn't lock the door properly. She come barging and chucked me out. <laughs> By the time I got in there, was no hot water. I couldn't even wash me hair. Oh, yeah, I thought you looked quite nice today. Oh, very funny. <laughs> Shut up and bring us a fun over. Oh, yes, madam. I'm going to be told to play in the park with her. My oh, tub is off. Matt, I'm 40. Not till next week. It's old to be having your first baby. Well, you're not having it. I am. Look, we're going to be late. I might even be around to see her grow up. Look, at this rate, I'm going to be having it before I have this scam. Not it, Matt. She. Oh, there you are. I've been looking for you all over. Have you got a refund on them bus tickets yet? Not yet. Oh, good. Why? Because we're still going. You can't travel with the pox. The pox? I ain't got the pox. It's an allergy. Dr Truman said it was probably that perfume what I got off the market yesterday. He said it's nothing serious and it certainly won't interfere with me holiday. Have you finished your packing yet? Not quite. Well, you better get your skates on. Well, she's in the sweet shop, isn't she, Jim? Well, she's had such a terrible time this year, you see, what with Nick being poorly and Ashley dying and not being well herself. I thought she deserved a little holiday. It's not much, it's only tall key, but I thought we'd do her good. There must be some way you can make 50 quid. I've run out of time, and I'm going to have to tell her the truth, the holiday's off. Well, you can't let her down now. Well, I haven't got any choice. I'm disappointed in you, Jim. I've tried everything. No, you ain't. Believe me. Well, have you tried flogging some of your belongings? I've already sold the only thing of any value that I possess, yeah. They could try to feed him down the side of the seats in the Vic. Oh, do us a favour. What about standing outside the tube station with a collector jar? No. See? It's 50 pounds I need, not 50 pence. Yeah, and Dot needs his holiday, you promised her. Ta-da! Hi, you are early? Why do I get the feeling this isn't a social call? Yeah, Sharon. Have you seen Pauline? Uh, she was in earlier. Oh. Can I give her a message? Well, she just wanted to say au revoir. Why? Well, you see, we're off on our holidays. Oh. All about board, of course. Got the extra, then? Yes, thanks. What's that, Doc? Oh, do you think so? Don't make me look stupid. No, it's beautiful. Oh. So I told you, see? Now, come on, I'm always going to miss the coach. Hey, Doc, yes? Give us a 12. Oh, don't be silly. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Donna, love, it's me. D -d Don't hang up. Listen to me. I, I want to talk about the baby. I want to be his dad. But can we not meet up and talk about this? I, 
just want to be there, darling. Fancy a cuppa? First chance I've had to get into that bathroom. Bring it through, shall I? Um, s sorry, I'm, I'm on a mobile, you're breaking up. Looks like you were right about her. Huh. Well, I got on with the What I've been doing. I give up. Sorting out a certain person's anniversary present. Which is? Ah, uh -uh, you'll have to wait and see, like a good one. All right, I'm not going to tell you what I'm getting you. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise. Makes you want to stick your fingers down my throat. Oh, she's a... She wouldn't be if she knew the truth. Don't stir it, Kat. She's her sister. <laughs> yeah, and you don't even know what the truth is. You overheard a phone conversation. Did you actually even mention the name Donna? No. Well, then. You always want to think the best in people, don't you? You just think we should give him a chance. Who are we talking about now? Trevor or Gary? Ha ha. Go away, Janine! I don't want to talk to you! No, it's not Janine! Oh, dear. <laughs> I hope Peggy's staying. How do you think about that, Dad? Nothing to do with me, is it? But the latest. What's that? Lynn reckons Gary can take off to stay shield on honeymoon. I told you that was a secret. I don't know, I just think. How's Gary ever going to afford that? He's working two hours overtime right now. I should cover it. Do you mind if we join you? No, not at all. Budge up, Kat. Excuse me, I've got to get a drink. Two one. What can I get you, darling? Number one, I ain't your darling, and number two, I don't want anything of you. What? I know. I don't know what you're talking about. Welcome to Tonic, please, Trace. <laughs> What's eating you? Men. I ate them all. Fair enough. But don't take it out on little Moe. You're always sticking up for them. No, I'm not. Just go and play your family to Gary. Look, she's happy. Let her be. Is she when he turns up? What am I supposed to do? Go around there begging on my hands and knees? Maybe she'd be thanking me, not giving me the cold shoulder. Seen Lynn. Left 20 minutes ago. What? She's looking for you down the arches. You're kidding. Oi. What exactly am I supposed to have done, by the way? Little Mo might fall for your act, but I don't. It's just clear off. Sharon, can you do us a big favour? We can still go out of the park, you know. No, it's too late. I promised Little Mo I'd help her with her cake decorations. So when will I find out about the honeymoon? Tomorrow. Oh, Gary. I don't believe it. Yeah, well, uh, I'll leave you to it, eh? Alright. Have you seen little Mo? Yeah, she's in the front room. Why? You might be beyond help, but she ain't. Look, she's happy. Just let her be. What is it with you? Who was it men make mugs here? Oh, just in time. I need a decision. This one or this one? <laughs> <laughs> Got you these. Oh, chocolates. They're original. You're not going to take them, are you? Of course not. I thought we could go over to Vic later. Sorry, I'm washing my hair. Oh, yeah, but... You heard. Oh. Hello. Oh. Do you need a hand? No, thank you. Terry Raymer speaking. Yeah. Oh. What's your little mole do? Nothing as usual. I knew we shouldn't have told her. We? All right, me. Anyway, maybe it's a good thing she knows. Not going to make any difference. Do you think? Yeah, of course. He'll buy her a box of chocolates and she'll just forget the old thing. Hmm. Yeah, hold on, hold on. All right, Mo? Yeah. Ain't it sweet? Yeah. Shame it's some other woman having your husband's baby. I think grumble, though, eh? Mind you, I bet Donna's chuffed with him, knocking her up and legging it with you. I'm his wife. He didn't stop him from running off her in the first place, so did it? Yeah, but he came back to me in the end. Oh, lucky you! Oh, leave me alone. And the same thing will happen to you. You'll meet someone else, run off with her and leave you on your own. Trevor wouldn't do that to me. But you don't want to pack his families with her. Why would he want her with you? Because he loves me. He told me so. But don't you think it's the same thing to her? I know who Trevor wants to be with, and it's me.
Come here. Where have you been? Her friends. What friends? Nobody you know. I know all your friends. Who was it? Come on, it's no big deal. Tell me. You don't know my friends. Same as I don't know everything about you. What's the matter, eh? I haven't gotten out of my mind with worry. Have you? Of course I have. I love you. Oh, you said that before. You said that when you were seeing Donna. Well, I mean it now. Oh, and you didn't mean it then? Don't touch my words. What's the matter, eh? Is it Donna? Is that what it is? You must have had the baby by now. Why are you so concerned about her all of a sudden? Doesn't it bother you? Short sure, baby. No, it doesn't bother me. As far as I'm concerned, it's just another snotty kid to be brought on the welfare. I'm tired. I'm going upstairs. Hey, come on, Mo. I'm sorry. Let me come up with you. No, I want to sleep. Please, Mo. No. Just leave me alone. We were delighted with the renovation, you know, because that obviously means there's more space and uh, more space, more customers, you know, and more customers, more money. What's going on here then? Yeah. It's like they're expecting the loyalty. Who's that then? Posh yeah, and yeah, Good idea. That should hit our young target demographic. Hmm? Absolutely. And then, possibly, uh, a shot in front of our bottled waters. That's a nice, refreshing image. The hygienic health factor. Yes. <laughs> the best ideas come from the people who know. People at the chill face, Mr. Sharma. Excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, we're closed. I only want a pair of tights. Don't touch them. They're props. What's going on? <laughs> Minute Mart are doing an advertising show. What, here? They wanted a real shot with real stuff. Here, have you started yet? Just set it up. Well, make sure you show them your best profile. Yeah. <laughs> what, you're in this? Yes. Not all models have to look like Brad Pitt, you know. No, but not many look like Homer Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Testing. One, two... Mate, do you think you could deliver these somewhere else? Hold on a minute, mate. What are you having, babe? Keep your money, I'm not stopping. As little mo. Yeah, it should be fine if you lot will keep your noses out of our business. Just leave us alone, eh? We'll work it out. Well, he's certainly making an effort. He bought a lovely bunch of flowers. What do you know about that? Well, I know that she palmed him off to your other bird. Donna, innit? Isn't it great they're such good mates? What you say that for? What's up? Trevor's back to you, did the mouth. Oh, don't worry, I'll sort it. Trevor! Lynn! Trevor! Lynn! Trevor! Lynn! If you touch her, I'm gonna get the position! Oi! Going off! What do you think you're. Gary! Gary, you're right! What happened? What do I Where's the flowers? I said, where's the flowers? What are you talking about? What flowers? I sent you a bouquet of flowers. I want to see them. Well, you can't because I sent them to Donna. What did you do that for? Because that's where I was last night. Why? Because I felt sorry for her because she's all alone. I was there when she had the baby. Mo? Mo, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, Lynn, I'm all right. Messed everybody's life up. Yours. Donna's. Do you want to get back with her? No. Then why did you get in touch? Why did you write that card? You took it, didn't you? After everything you said to me, a new star, everything, why did you lie to me, Trevor? Why? Because it was there, mate, then, that's fine. It was hitting me up from the inside. I wanted to be there at the birth, but I knew it would upset you. That's why I didn't tell you. That baby's mine. It's my club. Is it all right? Oh, yeah, it's a healthy baby boy. Has it got everything? I mean, fingers and toes. Oh, yeah, everything's there. 
What does it look like? It looks like you. But people have gone to a lot of trouble. Yeah, because they feel sorry for me. No! And it's going to change everything. Just um, give it a few more minutes. I think Mo's going to be OK. Well, you want me to go and see? No, no, you've already done enough, babe. How are you feeling now? Yeah, a bit better. Wasn't that for too long, was I? No. Actually, I think I am going to go and find out what's going on. Oh, yeah. There's a cocktail here with your name on it. Happy birthday, Barry! Yeah. All together! Happy birthday to you! Doesn't matter to me what you are. Happy birthday You're my son. My big 40-year-old son. I'm proud of you. I love you. I love you too.